Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name's Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. I found a jewelry jar today and it seemed like there was a lot of watches in there, but there was a couple of really good watches in there. There's like a Mickey Mouse there. Um, what else? I saw a few things in here that was like, well, besides the fact that it's got like a lot of sparkles and I like sparkles cause I can craft with it. Um, oh, that earring looked real interesting right there. Hmm. Like the color of that. There was also, um, there's like a mini mouse watch that I saw right there. Um, so I kind of played I spy with it for a minute and wondered, is it going to, it says $50 craft. Um, so I thought, yeah, it's going to be. And at that same location, I picked up a few things. Um, I picked up this. What is happening? That's pretty fabulous. Uh, it's, it's in great condition. It's adjustable and it's, it's just beautiful. Uh, it's kind of got an opal gloss. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Uh, I found these there. And I thought those were very pretty too. Whoa. Uh, these are not signed. Uh, Clip-ons. Really beautiful. I got this because it says Santa. I want it all. And it's pretty big and it's great. Perfect for Christmas. So cute. I got a couple of other brooches. This one here, and I can't figure out the name. Sorry for the sounds. Yeah, windows all around here. Busy street, part of the city if you're new here. And if you are new here, welcome. And thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't yet, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, give me a like, let me know what your favorite item is, and yeah, hello. <laughs> All that stuff. All that stuff. It is free to subscribe for those of you who didn't know. I didn't know that for the longest time, and I felt really silly when I found out subscriptions were free. I'm like, I'm not subscribing to anybody. No way. Look at this. What on earth is happening? Dun, da, da, da. This is ginormous. I mean, look at that. My goodness. I mean, I don't know where you're going to wear that. Maybe on a big coat or something. <laughs> it's amazing, though. It's so big and it's fabulous. I couldn't leave it there. I had to get it. And I had to get this too because this has got some really great beads in it. Um, it's just got some really neat. Look at those purple glass beads, the shapes on those. So pretty. Um, and then it's got stones um, and I don't know, like a sodalite or lapis or whatever it is. And those copper ones and those beautiful wedding cake beads or whatever art glass beads um, whatever they're called really pretty beads those uh, and then I found this um, the the luster on this is so pretty um, and it's 14 karat gold sweet little bracelet pearls I got this here uh, I thought it was really neat, uh, very well made, and this looked like, I don't know, like some sort of a sea creature or something like that. Uh, and then when I looked at it, uh, it's made in Norway. Uh, it looks like it's tin and pewter, perhaps. I believe that's what that represents, tin and purr. It could be, it could be a maker, tin and purr, tin slash purr probably the metal mark, I'm assuming. Uh, whatever it is, it's really neat. So 
it, it did look very, um, almost, yeah, I don't know, Nordic, Celtic, something. Hello, Nordic, yeah, the way, yeah, Norway, hello. Um, I found these three in a bundle. These are all marked uh, Turkey 925, and they're really nice uh, bangles, and I like them. Made in Turkey, really nice. And this one uh, was separate sterling, and it's beautiful. Love that design. Oh, and they all fit. Fabulous. I might have to rock this for a minute. I might have to move a couple of them around and get the bigger ones on the other side of the small ones because. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, and what else? Oh, I found these earrings. And I'm, I'm like 100% sure. Well, 99. How about 99% sure those are silver? Cute. And that's what I found at the thrift store. So let's get this camera down. And we'll dive into this jar, see what we got. All right. Need a pair of scissors. There's a ton of watches in here. That's all right, though. Some watches are cool. <coughs> Man, I did it again. Oh, love. I'm just going to do a little bit of this right now. And um, we'll look at the rest in a moment. Let's check out some of these watches. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's Santa Claus. How cute is that? Sparkly Santa. I like that. Um, actually, my friend Kim is supposed to be coming over uh, a little bit later with some jewelry, and she's the watch gal. So we could do a little tradey tradey. Uh, Shannon's another watch. Quartz. This is a great Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse Quartz watch, super cute. We've got Pocahontas, Pocahontas. Oh, here's the other part of the band. This is a really cute Mickey watch or Disney watch. Just sign Disney there. That's a neat little watch. Oh, Lion King watch. Oh my gosh. That's super cute. It's a, a great leather band too. Or pleather, whatever it may be. It's in great shape. Uh, what on earth is this? This is a brooch. Holy moly. It is a brooch. Wow, someone went all out. And, um, yeah. They just did, oh, this is Mrs. Fabulosity from months back. Do you guys remember? Because there was a whole, she had a whole bunch of rings like this and a bunch of handmade stuff with hot glue. Well, yep. This is leftovers from Miss Fabulosity. I bet you these rings are too, um, including that other big ginormous thing. Or maybe this was her twin sister. Because <laughs> I'm sure all of this stuff is donations. Uh, these are all rings. Oh, that's a stretch ring. Wow. And this is also a ring. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. 
pay no mind to my lovely nails right now. Huh. Oh, that looks like a really nice Mickey watch. It says electric. Um, and that's the back. I've heard when it has a back like that, it's such a pain in the butt uh, to change the battery or something like that. Maybe not. Maybe that's not it. I don't remember what I heard. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're little bats and they're hair clips. That's super cute. Oh, this is the little mini watch. Um, Loris Disney Quartz. Mini Mouse, and there's uh, Lion King. Simba. Simba. Oh my gosh. A cute little Christmas tree. So I guess these all just need batteries, I'm sure. And that's what people do. They they get a, um, this is Geneva. Not Geneva. Geneva. Hong Kong. Um, a lot of people don't replace the batteries and then this is awesome. This is a Swiss Army knife watch. Swiss Army. That's awesome. Very cool. They have some collectability. Oh my gosh, another Mickey Mouse watch. And another Lion King watch. We got someone's whole entire collection here. And I'm not even halfway done. Wild. Here's another Mickey Mouse watch. Anyone need a Mickey Mouse watch? Who's this? Oh, this is Pocahontas. Because it says so on the back. <laughs> Someone was into their Disney collection. Um, we got a... It says, My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. John. 1512. What? I, it's hard to read with the lighting and the shine. It was shining right in my... See how that's getting that glare in there? Yeah, and I don't have the right glasses on, so excuse. Um, love. All we need is love. Wah, 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 wah. Super cute. Love and luck. A little bit of luck. Get you a long way. That looks like a mood ring gone bad. Glued down mess. Uh, there's a couple of real icky looking rings with copper just pouring through here and there. And wow, this light is really good for such things. <laughs> Those have got yeah, there's just a whole bunch of... Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Auntie Lorraine. That's for you. So cute. She collects... Um, she collects penguins. Uh, this is Jubanchi. Let's hope the other one's in there because that's um, really nice. Nice. Yeah. This one is Crown Trafari. Clip on. I'll push that to the side. That one's not assigned anything. Look, we've got a pair. How about that? And I'm just going to scooch these to the side, too. That's a neat looking one. What does that say? It doesn't. That's really sweet. Uh, uh, it's got some really cute little glass drop beads there. All right. Let's dig into the rest of this. Let's see what kind of treasures we got. Oh my gosh, got a lighter. In rough shape. I'm putting it right back in. Oh, Skagen. Very nice. Skagen's. Hold a little bit of value. They sell for around 60, 70, 90. Um, uh, here's an um, Amatron and, or is it Armatron? Is it Armatron or Amatron? Armatron. 
And that looks like a really cool watch. Like, I'm going to have to do a little research on that one because that's a neat watch. Oh, here's another lighter. Um, Rogers uh, Windproof. And it's not in great shape. Um, all right, my hands feel dirty. Uh, Madonna Quartz. And then we got this one. It's just a big old quartz. This is a Citizen Quartz. Wow, am I even showing the camera? This one looks interesting. Looks very beat up, but it's it's a long jeans automatic 25 shock protected um anti-magnetic and it's in kind of rough shape but let's see does it work no it does not it doesn't it's over well I guess it's not called overwound um, the wind isn't winding I've heard someone say there's no such thing as uh, overwound so I don't know I'm not the pro when it comes to watches, but I know a couple. I do know a couple. This one is Mentor. Um, Anti-magnetic and, oh boy, that crystal is awfully, um, this is winding and Oh my, it's ticking. It's ticking. That's awesome. That one's interesting. It's got a really neat face, really neat look. And um, a black face is always more um, desirable than a white face. The little bits I do know, I'll just share with you. Uh, this one's just really beat up and... No bueno. Ooh, that's a neat lighter. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Now that's a little treasure right there. Look at that. That's like a little fob for your, uh, your watch thing. You know, you would attach that too, and that can go in your pocket and you've got your lighter and your, uh, your watch. That's neat. That's really neat. I like that a lot. That's cool. That's like my favorite thing so far. Uh, here's a Loris watch. Yeah, that one's not too bad. This one is really neat and it is Gloria Vanderbilt. Go Gloria. Um, yeah, it's a nice looking nice looking watch and last watch is pearl quartz at least I think that says pearl up there looks like it and what do we have in here oh my gosh we have way like lots of these little copper just worn out worn down to the bone uh, stackers that are all the wear and tear is coming through. My goodness. All of them. Yeah, they all have just, they just look copper. That one too. Yeah, they're all going to go into the jar they go. This is really pretty. Oh my goodness. I just tangled up a whole bunch of chains. And let's get this pearl thingy out of there. I'll get back to that later. Oh my gosh, that's a really neat cufflink. Oh, and there's, no, there's not two. 
but look at that. Very cool cufflinks. I mean, if you're going to wear a cufflink, do it with a little pazayas. Pazayam. And this is really neat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at it. You can roll the dice. That's so cute. I love it. <laughs> I get so excited over silly things. Huh, that one. That looks nice, but it's. I'm sure it's not gold, but it looks nice. Um, oh my gosh, if there were two of those, look at that. That is so adorable. It's a little naked lady. Oh. Oh wow, that one is super cool too. That's really neat construction. That's extra protection there. So it's not coming off. That's weird. Dantis. Dantis? I don't know, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that's a great cufflink. That's too bad. So they're all in here because there's just one ofs. But they're great to craft with if I can't find them um, a mate. What's that one say? 120th 10 karat gold filled front. And there's a couple more. I found, uh, well, if you guys have been around for a while, I found a pair of 14 karat gold um, Tiffany & Co. <laughs> Gufflings. I sold them for uh, 400 and, oh, I can't remember. Yep, yeah. out in the wild. I did a video. I think I sold them for four something. Yeah, something like that. Oh, there's two of these. Wow, okay. How beautiful is that? Cloisonne, uh, different colored flowers. Beautiful. So pretty. Can't tell if of that. Oh, here's that earring that I thought looked interesting. Hmm. I cannot make that out. I'll have to test it. I don't know. I do not know, but I'll, I'll check it out. That's a super cute earring, and there was probably just one. And let's see what's going on here. All right, this one is sterling. And I will get that out of there. A uh, sterling silver chain. Nice. Nothing major, but I will take it. This one is also sterling. Or they say they're sterling. I don't know. I'll have to I'll check them out. And I just think I saw another one. And, you know, I guess they just didn't want to deal with these. That one's sterling as well. It's great. I've got a whole bunch of sterling pendants that need chains. This one's just costume jewelry. Um, oh, this one is sterling as well. Did I already show that one? So I've got one, two, three, four sterling necklaces. That's awesome. I'll take it. And are you kidding me? Is this an earring? 
And they're signed. No way. Oh, what a bummer that is. Look at it. has got a post here. And there's no post on that one. What a bummer. Those are cool hoops. Oh my gosh. I like that. I like that a lot. What's that sign? Just curious. I could have Eddie out of post. Um, Athati? A T H A T I E. That's what it looks like. Yeah? Well, those are cool. I, I think I might have that repaired because that's really, really neat. I like that a lot. Uh, this is another cuff link. Uh, I want to say I have the other one of these. That's weird. I swear from a few months back. It's happened before. I used to get Goodwill blue boxes and I'd get stuff one week and then let's say the next week. Um, that's a really cool pair of earrings. And the next week I'd get something that matched up with it. <laughs> it's happened uh, more than one occasion. Crazy. All right, we've got some little rings in here. This one looks like copper and brass. Uh, that looks like a little sterling bobble. That is amazing. And oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Oh, I see. There's two. Uh, but it appears that someone glued some stuff on there, or the glue is really weird. They are signed. Um, Bellini with a patent number. I don't know what's happening here. Um, but they're pretty fabulous. I'm gonna have to look into these a little bit deeper and see what is going on because um, if you can see there, it's like someone, it almost looks like someone glued some different rhinestones on top or something, and it's starting to come apart right here. But they're fabulous other than that, and the back is just, um, they're incredibly designed, really, really nicely done, Bellini. I'm going to have to check into those because those are pretty fabulous. I love this little bird. It's so cute. And maybe it used to be a brooch. These need to go into there. That looks like a little sterling thing. That one looks like a little sterling thing. We got, oh, I already showed you those. Nice little rhinestone thing. This. Uh, what is this? 925 RGO. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, I could turn that into a pendant, though. That's pretty. Now, uh, this is just a couple of chains that this costume jewelry. This one's got a whole bunch of copper nastiness. Uh, but these are in great shape. Not this so much, but those are in great shape. Those are usable. And we got this one here is also in good shape. Oh no. What have I just done? There we go. Another sterling silver uh, 
little chain. So that's five sterling chains. And this one also looks like it's sterling. Looks like it's marked right there on the cloth. It is. Uh, it's got stir, S-T-E-R. And then it's got the little symbol for, um, I can't remember which is which, the symbol with the man and woman. I guess that would be a woman. The circle with an arrow. And then a man as a circle with a square or a, a cross. I can't remember. Uh, six sterling chains so far. That's awesome. I can use them. And what's this one? That one doesn't look like it is anything. And it probably isn't. And then there's just a couple little... A little... Oh my gosh, look at for my miniature collection. Oh, the sweetest little. It looks like Lady from Lady and the Tramp or something. Just super cute. Look at. Oh, perfect for my little shelf. Uh, fun for crafting here with the these and these. Oh, this is is another that I could put on my little shelf too. Oh my gosh, what does it say? Oh, wow, I have no idea. And it appears to be someone, maybe like a caroler. Or, I don't know, you guys tell me. <laughs> She's like holding a book, perhaps singing, wearing one of those big poofy gown things. I don't know. Uh, this says love, 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 love. <laughs> Remember that movie? Love, 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 love. Uh, this is a really neat stone, whatever it might be. It's pretty. And that's it. That's all. Hope y'all had a ball. All right. I'll uh, see you guys uh, really, really soon. There's a little earring. And this is... Oh, what's it say? Did we find gold? 10 karat gold fill. One tenth. Justin's. Um... I found some treasures. I found little miniatures 